بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave us a beautiful example of how we should be with one another. And when you reflect upon it <clears throat> and if we practiced it the ummah would be in a much better position and have better status than they are if we really practice true sound brothers brotherhood then our brothers all over the world brothers in Yemen brothers in Syria brothers and sisters in Syria brothers and sisters in Afghanistan brothers and sisters in Pakistan brothers and sisters in Somalia brothers and sisters in Ethiopia our brothers and sisters in Cameroon our brothers and sisters in Angola our brothers and sisters in the Democratic Republic of uh, the Central African Republic, wherever they may be suffering, in Burma, wherever they are living under the oppression of others and being tormented and killed and forced out of their homes, they would have the, if we were practicing, they would be received with open arms. And this is what the Quran, the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam calls us to, orders us to in fact. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam said in a Sahih Hadith, he gave an example. He said, مثل المؤمنين في توادهم وتراهم وتراهمهم وطاعتهم كمثل الجسد واحد اذا اشتكى منه عضو تداعى له سائر الجسد بالحمى والسهر The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in an authentic hadith the example of the believers is the example in their love their love for one another and their mercy and their affection is similar to the body to the sing to a single body if a part of the body is sick and suffers then the whole body is affected with restlessness or sleeplessness and fever. That's a fantastic example from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or analogy or similitude between the body and the way the believers are to be as one. وَكُنُّوا عِبَادُ اللَّهِ إِخْوَانًا And be brothers, O Muslimin. This is what we're ordered to do. So if we begin to practice, we begin to realize this, and we begin to establish this brotherhood based on Kitabillah, and based on the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and based on the Salaf of this Ummah, because it has to be. We want success. We don't want just brotherhood based on any falsehood, brotherhood based on nationalism. I can have brotherhood based on African Americans. He could have brotherhood based on being Saman. This one could have brotherhood based on being uh, Pakistani and being a follower of uh, the founder of Pakistan. I forget his name. Whatever the case may be, Habatifillah, all of that we push to the side because it's the love of the Mu'mineen. That's the Asim. That's what is our true brotherhood. Because the fact that you're Pakistani will never save you. The fact that, the fact that you're African American will definitely not save you. Especially the way we suffer in our country. And the fact that you are any other race, it won't save you. But what will save you, and the true brotherhood lies in what? In that Islamic bond. In that love for one another. 
based on Tawheed, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, based on following the son of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and how we, we uh, manifest that Tawheed, that, that worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, and based on the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, how did the Sahaba, what was their Aqidah, what was their creed? This is what unites us as one hand. This is what makes us successful. And we ask of all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan, who sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala Nabi Muhammad, wa ala alayhi wa sallam.